In the world of high technology and engineering breakthroughs, Jetpack Aviation has unveiled a unique vehicle, the Speeder, the world's first flying motorcycle. This machine combines the capabilities of vertical takeoff and landing with the agility and compactness of a motorcycle, opening new horizons in personal aviation. The Speeder is equipped with four turbojet engines, enabling vertical takeoff, hovering, and horizontal flight. Thanks to a computer-controlled flight stabilization system, the pilot can easily control the vehicle, while the use of LiDAR ensures stable hovering with minimal drift. The development of the speeder focuses on modularity and adaptability. Multiple configurations are planned, including piloted versions, unmanned cargo drones, and military applications. The speeder can reach speeds of up to 241 km per hour and ascend to an altitude of up to 4,572 meters. Flight time ranges from 10 to 22 minutes depending on the configuration and conditions. The French company DTA Aircraft Manufacturer has unveiled a new electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft called the JP-1. The debut took place at the international exhibition Gitex Global 2024 where the vehicle immediately drew attention thanks to its futuristic design and its concept as a flying car for mass use. The JP-1 is designed to be operated without a pilot's license, thanks to its advanced autopilot system and flight stabilization technology. The JP-1 is fully electric, making it an environmentally friendly solution for urban mobility. It is nearly silent and produces no harmful emissions, which is especially important for use in densely populated areas. The JP-1 features an enclosed cockpit with transparent gullwing-style doors for easy access. Its lightweight aerodynamic body ensures both safety and comfort during flight. At the Megiddo Airfield in Israel, the company Urban Aeronautics conducted demonstration flights of its innovative aerial vehicle, the Cormorant. This unmanned vertical takeoff and landing drone is designed for missions in environments inaccessible to traditional helicopters, thanks to its unique internal fan design, which allows it to operate safely in urban and complex terrain. During testing, the Cormorant demonstrated its ability to autonomously carry out a complete flight mission, including takeoff, route navigation, cargo delivery, and return to its starting point. These trials confirmed its potential for various applications, such as casualty evacuation, supply delivery, and operations in hazardous or hard-to-reach areas. The Cormorant is powered by a Turbomeca Aerial 1D1 turboshaft engine and is capable of carrying a payload of up to 500 kilograms over a distance of up to 300 kilometers. Its design provides high maneuverability and flight stability, as well as the ability to operate in confined spaces making it a valuable asset for both military and civilian operations. Another major breakthrough in the field of personal aviation has been achieved by the Czech company UDX, which recently unveiled its revolutionary flying motorcycle called the Airwolf. This two-seater electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft combines agility, speed, and a futuristic design. The Airwolf is powered by four independent electric motors with tilting fans, providing hummingbird-like agility and enabling speeds of up to 230 km per hour. Acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour takes just 3 seconds. The body is made of carbon fiber, offering strength with a relatively low weight of 290 kg. Integrated wings generate approximately 50% of the lift, reducing the load on the batteries and improving flight efficiency. The aircraft's flight time is limited to 25 minutes, with a maximum range of 66 kilometers. To operate the Airwolf in the United States, a sport pilot license is required, which involves 20 hours of flight training. The price of the aircraft is approximately States dollars The Canadian company Horizon Aircraft has demonstrated a successful and stable transition to wingborne flight with its large-scale prototype, the Cavarite X-7. The Cavarite X-7 looks and flies like a conventional airplane but is capable of vertical takeoff and landing, much like a helicopter. 
The secret lies in 16 powerful fans hidden within the wings, six in each main wing and two in the small forward canards. Horizon Aircraft's engineers devised an ingenious mechanism. During vertical takeoff panels on the wings open up to reveal the lift fans which are powered by batteries. Once the X-7 gains speed and transitions to horizontal flight, the panels close and a gas turbine engine driving a rear-mounted propeller takes over for forward propulsion. The 16-fan system is highly fault-tolerant. The unmanned demonstrator was able to stay airborne even when 30% of the fans failed, meaning only 11 of the original 16 remained operational. Each fan operates independently, so the failure of one does not impact the others. The Cavorite X-7 is designed to carry six passengers plus a pilot. With a maximum takeoff weight of 2,500 kilograms, it can transport up to 680 kilograms of cargo when taking off vertically, or up to 815 kilograms when using a runway. The aircraft has a cruise speed of up to 463 kilometers per hour and a range of 800 kilometers without refueling, five times more than the midnight from Archer Aviation. On the night of September 3rd to 4th, 2024, a spectacular light show took place over the city of Yanji in Jilin Province, China, entering the Guinness World Records as the largest in history. The event was organized by Jujian Planning Media and Shenzhen Demoda Intelligent Control Technology, who launched 7,598 drones into the sky, synchronously creating breathtaking light installations dedicated to the 72nd anniversary of the founding of the Yanbian Korean Autonomous Prefecture. Each drone was equipped with light-emitting diodes, and their movements were coordinated using a high-precision navigation system, enabling the formation of complex three-dimensional images in the sky. These included national symbols, architectural landmarks, and scenes from the region's history. The show lasted for 26 minutes and 26 seconds, setting a record for the longest flight duration of its kind. This achievement was made possible by Demoda's Innovative Technologies, a company that had previously set records in the field of drone shows. The event attracted a large audience and received extensive media coverage, highlighting the growing popularity of drone performances as a form of mass art and technological advancement. In the world of aviation innovation and extreme technologies, another breakthrough has occurred. A pilot equipped with jet engines attached to their legs reached an impressive speed of 166.4 kilometers per hour. This achievement was made possible thanks to the development by Zapata Racing, a company renowned for its cutting-edge solutions in personal flight. The device used in this flight is a jet-powered suit featuring miniature turbojet engines mounted on the pilot's legs. This configuration enables high speeds and maneuverability previously unattainable in similar systems. The pilot controls the flight by adjusting body position and regulating engine thrust, which requires intense concentration and physical training. During the demonstration flight, the pilot showcased not only high speed, but also precise control and stability in the air. This accomplishment highlights the potential of such technologies in various fields, including rescue missions, military applications, and potentially personal transportation in the future. American engineer and YouTuber Alan Pan has created a next-generation pair of boots that allow a person to jump up to three times higher than normal, simulating a brief hovering effect in the air. These experimental moon boots enable jumps up to 200% higher than usual by using compressed air integrated into the footwear's mechanism. The boots are built around a pneumatic system that releases a powerful burst of air downward during a jump, creating additional thrust. The system is controlled by a handheld remote. The user presses a button at the precise moment of takeoff to maximize the effect. Visually, the boots resemble a cross between a spacesuit and sci-fi gear. They are bulky, but highly functional. During tests, Alan was able to jump significantly higher than normal, with each leap accompanied by a dramatic hiss of air and a sensation of rocket-like acceleration.